So, Father John, can you believe that the MPB group started out coming up on 10 years? A handful of guys get together every Wednesday. Started out with 12, 16 guys at the parish house. In 10 years, we've grown to a steady 220 guys a week. I think that's exciting. I think it's exciting what the future can hold, what the next 10 years could bring. Mm -hmm. However, one thing that I look at after the 10 years building their faith, having that discussion, having that fellowship with men, one thing that concerns me to say, what are they getting out of it? What are they, their spiritual life, their journey, what are they building? So I look at that and I'm gonna use the metaphor or the analogy of a toolbox. Mm -hmm. So I look at the regular MPB guy, the regular Joe, I say, what should be in their toolbox? Some things that come to mind quick for me are mass, weekly mass. Confession, at least, what would you say? Quarterly, every other month? Every six to eight weeks. Every six to eight weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, some other things that come to mind, daily prayer, prayer and reflection. Mm -hmm. What other things come to mind just for the regular Joe that you should have or we should have in our toolbox? So interesting, because we've been talking a lot about this um, Father Prentice, myself, Father Dave, some of the other folks on the leadership team. So I'm, I'm more and more of the mind that um, if we're seriously going to live an alternative Christian lifestyle in the midst of a cultural life we're living in right now, I gotta come up with a map for life. So the danger here is that we become too specific, too precise, like you gotta do this, 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 and then we're, then we're kind of being slavish to something. But kinds of things that I would put in the toolbox. So. Yep, it's got to start with prayer because if my relationship with the Lord isn't in place, then what's the point, right? So by, by prayer, we got to get more specific, I think. Do I set aside dedicated time every day where I pray? Or do I just kind of fit it in? So the best habit I've ever been like drilled into me is set aside a time, put it in your calendar. Every day I get an appointment with God. That's when you pray. Don't let anything, you know, so best you night. can. Yeah, whatever. Morning's best. Some guys can't do it for a lot of different reasons. Um, but uh, if you can begin the day in prayer, 15 minutes, great. Half hour, awesome. Get to an hour, even better. So prayer. Um, meals. Fasting. No. Uh, we'll get to that. Me like, we eat together. If I'm a dad and a husband, we eat together. And family. Like, so we, we got to try to find a way to live family life better. So we're going to eat together. Um, culminating in Saturday night, we kick off the Lord's Day, which begins at sundown, with a special meal, maybe once a month. Hmm. And we do what, what Father Prentice and I, the community we were a part of for a while, it was called the Lord's Day celebration. So it's a really beautiful, simple opportunity to, um, you know, there's some rituals connected with it. Um, but it's a way to teach, especially like younger kids, Something significant about the Sabbath. Like Sunday's different, why? Because Jesus rose from the dead. What does that mean? That means I'm not gonna die. Right. Oh, well, that's worth celebrating, right? Yeah. Um, so you can't do it every weekend maybe, but maybe do it once a month. And maybe, maybe um, the, other, the other month, a set of families get together and do it. Um, so eating together, we, I don't think we wanna underestimate that or think it's only, you know, it's not spiritual. Right. It's, it's important. Um, community life in the sense of like, we gotta, I gotta spend more time with people. I don't wanna build a ghetto, so I don't wanna only hang out with people who think like me, but I will become like the people I hang out with. So one thing that came to mind when I was thinking about this list or this, this toolbox is the, the Christian service. Is that what you're going on? Uh, so I'd put service in the toolbox too, like I gotta have some opportunity to give, could be PBJ, could be a tiny home project, could be whatever, right? Whatever mystery. So I gotta serve, because I'm, I'm I find life that way, right? but I got a fellowship too. Like just hang out with good families, good brothers if I'm not married. So beyond the MPB Wednesday morning. Yeah, because um, we need time to leisurely hang out. Like find a Friday night, just like you know, husband and wife need a date night. Yeah. Guys need good time with guys. And Wednesday morning you're like, I gotta go to work or you know, like, I gotta go back to bed or <laughs> whatever it is, right? Sorry. Some of the guys do that. Um, so yeah, good fellowship, right? Um, asceticism of one kind or another. So um, fasting um, of whatever kind. Okay. Um, so it, ascetics, uh, it, it, mean, it just comes from the Greek word, which means training. So, I mean, you wrestled, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, well, there's, so there's all sorts of things you do to get in shape to wrestle. We're talking about trying to become saints. 
What do you do to? I'm probably going to need to do some training. <laughs> you know, like there's some things in my life that got to go. Right. So um, fasting is a great habit to get into. I know lots of guys just struggle with it, but so what? Start doing it. You know, um, try to do it on Fridays. You know, skip a meal. Start with one meal. Just like drink liquids. Give it up for something. Right. You know, um, those are the kinds of things that kind of quickly come to mind. I'd put in a toolbox. So. Let me, let's use that same metaphor. And so we talked about many times, say, okay, after 10 years, regular Joe, we are regular Joes, right? But what takes them and gets them out in that current, gets them more? So I think I use the same metaphor of being a master mechanic. So if I were to kick it up a notch or, I, or add more tools that I already have in my regular Joe toolbox, we talked about fasting, daily prayer, reconciliation, mass, etc. But I look at the master mechanic set, uh, do we put adoration in there? What other things could I put into that? So depending upon... So, so the I guys would, are looking for more. I'm yeah. going to grow my toolbox. Yep. So I would say every guy's got to do an inventory. So some guys, like, in all honesty, they come to MPB, they don't go to Mass. They're just not there yet. Like, the yeah. fact that they crossed the threshold of the church, like, that's astounding. That's yeah. fantastic. Praise God that they're there. Um, so for those guys, maybe it's like, i got to get back to Mass, which probably means i got to think about going to confession. Um, other guys, they go to daily mass right. uh, or frequent mass during the week, you know. So for them, maybe it's, uh, I don't think I really know the scriptures. I don't think I have a biblical worldview. I'm, I'm increasingly aware of how important it is. Like, without these, I don't see. Mm -hmm. Without this, I don't see reality. Like, I, I just don't see reality. Mm -hmm. and, and this reveals reality to me. So for a lot of men... Uh, and women, for that matter, we're just biblically illiterate. And we feel helpless. Like, I don't even know where to begin. I mean, I probably got to have a doctorate in theology to understand this. Well, you don't, you know? So maybe it's a couple of guys just um, uh, starting to do a Bible study together, or maybe it's just you on your own going, maybe this summer or this fall, I'm going to make my way through the New Testament. So I think each of us just needs to take inventory of our own lives. Like, I've never fasted before in my life, except when I had a colonoscopy. You know, then I fasted. <laughs> but um, so whatever. So um, where am I right now? What's the Lord asking of me to get to that next step so that I don't allow myself to settle somehow? So I like that because I had a list of more things. For, so what I'm hearing, it could be a rosary or it could be daily mass. It could be more reflection on the scripture or a, another book or spending time. So it's not prescriptive as opposed to what are you going to do next to really challenge yourself. Yep. Uh, we have got to be self-directed here. And for a couple of reasons. One, like, I got to take it. I'm a man, for crying out loud. I should take initiative for this. But two, um, we, it, it gets cultic if I tell you what you need to do. That's why I think, um, you know, in leadership for you guys, you just say, these are the kinds of things to look at and consider. And not do the inventory and say, you got to have this right. in your toolbox. Right. So each toolbox is different, which is great, which is a lot of where we're headed right now because I think that's part of the organic growth of the group is that's how we learn mm -hmm. because you bring something different I bring something different mm -hmm. we share that we grow organically and that piece of my uh, my interest goes into my toolbox mm -hmm. to my and then hopefully then changes behavior or mindset mm -hmm. as well yep. great I, I well, I'll ask one add one more thing um, so for a lot of guys uh, quick analogy so uh, I did ancestry.com a couple months ago and uh, I thought I knew my family background pretty well. I get the results back, I'm like, I had no idea. Like, I got all these things, that, caucuses, like, who knew, right? I mean, right. I'm Georgian, you know, like 5%. So like, not South Georgia, like Georgia, out, uh, you know, like that. Turkey, that area. So, um, but that's how a lot of Catholics are. A lot of Catholics don't know their family history. A lot of Americans don't know history. But a lot of Catholics, like, we don't know the role that our family played in transforming the culture. And so another great thing for some guys to put in the toolkit would be, i got to get more familiar with who are the heroes of the faith, um, what's the contribution that the church has made, so that I, I know our culture, I know our history, and then in knowing what God did in the past through people like me, I get an understanding of well, then he might want to do something through me in the present. For me and my family. Exactly. Uh, so. And it's kind of a play it forward. Indeed. Excellent. All right, thanks for your time. My joy. Thanks, brother.